<clears throat> Some have asked, where is Jesus' body? Well, well, let's just answer it. Let's, let's get into it. If you believe that Jesus was just a man, he wasn't the Messiah, you think he's just a guy, then... Well, maybe you think his body's somewhere in Israel or somewhere outside of Jerusalem. Maybe maybe tucked away somewhere. Maybe it was stolen by his disciples, like it says in the book of Matthew, other accusations. Or maybe you believe in Docetism, which is an ancient heresy that says Jesus actually didn't have a body. It was like a phantom body and he wouldn't really come bodily and so therefore he didn't really raise bodily. Well, that's an old heresy. If you are a person that believes in Jesus, that you believe he's the Messiah. You would consider yourself Orthodox Christian, that you believe in the Bible. You believe that Jesus is the Messiah. You believe that he died on the cross. Then you would believe that he raised from the dead. So where is Jesus' body? Well, he's in it. Okay, guys, he's, he's still there. He's in it. So if you want to know where his body is at, well, the Bible says that he's seated at the right hand of the Father. It says that in a number of places. So Jesus, he's in his body, seated at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for those who believe, for those even who will come to believe. And that's where he is right now. Now, let's talk about the kind of body Jesus has because that's pretty interesting. Now, Jesus, he he is the second Adam, it says in the book of Romans. So what you can say is that what Jesus' Jesus's body is in its resurrected form is what God's intention was for mankind, fully walked out. That's why when we are raised, we will be like him, that our bodies will be just like his. Now think about this. What Jesus is, is what Adam was before the fall. So that kind of puts in mind what God's intention is for mankind, that he has... And under, he has a desire for us to be fully integrated into the spiritual realm, just like Jesus. He can easily traverse into the realm of the spirit and easily come into the realm of the natural. To him, it's not a division. It's not either or. Now in our fallen state, in this current body that I have, it, it doesn't function like that. I don't have the capacity to do it. But we have the down payment of the Holy Spirit, which gives us access to the heavenly realms. And so if you're a believer in Jesus and you have that down payment of the Holy Spirit dwelling within you, then you have the ability to have full communion with Jesus to, since you know where his body is at, being seated at the right hand, you can fellowship with him by the Holy Spirit. You can know him. You can hear his voice. You can know that you belong to him. So if you don't know, if you belong to him today, you can simply receive Jesus and ask him into your heart. Ask him if you would come in and be and sup with you, like it says in the book of Revelation, that he would come and be with you and that he would forgive you of your sins, that he would redeem you, that he would give you that down payment of the Holy Spirit and that you would know him. And then when he comes again, he will raise you into a body that's just like his. God bless you guys.